that to his face. I probably caused him that to somebody else's face. I said that behind his back. Mama, I just come in clear. Put that up. We're about to do a video. Put it up, Corey. Hold on. Can, I, can you hurry up? I'm trying to wait till people get on here. We got to wait till seven people get on here. Okay, yeah. we got two. You're a hater, bro. Hey, y'all. Hey. We got three people. I got a surprise tutorial for y'all tonight. Tap in, tap in. Tag a friend and do crafts. Yeah. I am. <laughs> y'all. I have it. <laughs> Corey, get in here. Corey, Alicia. I'm going to tell everybody your middle name if you don't get in here. Y'all, my daughter is about to press, uh, watch me press these mugs. I got 15 coffee mugs to press by tomorrow. Hey, Miss Pamela. Hey, Kitty loving her. I'm trying to wait for seven people to get on. I know it's late. And we y'all, while, we, while I'm pressing the mugs in the meantime, in between time, we're going to be talking about this $20 hat wig that I got, y'all. She's a hater. Okay. So we got three people. We need seven people, y'all. Tag a friend, like the post, share it. Do something to draw some attention to it. Seven is my lucky number. We got four people on here, four people. If you want to know how to sublimate a coffee mug, I got 15 of them over here that I'm about to get into. So tap in, tag a friend that don't know, share the post. Y'all, I know I'm looking crazy on here. I think this wig is kind of cute. I'm starting to like it on me, y'all. But it's a hat. It's not a full wig. My daughter's a hater. She is. And y'all, my house is a mess. We we went to the track today. We done bleached some stuff today. I got a meal prep, so I got stuff everywhere. Don't judge me, okay? So we have six people on. All right, we're going to go ahead and get started because we hit seven, but then we went down to six, and I really don't know who's all on here. Court, go put that dog up now so we can do this video. Y'all pray for me. If y'all have no kids, don't have no kids. Because they don't make no sense. I'm trying to wait on her so she can um, come hold the camera while I'm doing these coffee mugs. But I'll show y'all what I got going on here. So over here is my mess, y'all. I got my paper that I'm going to use to cover up my mug press so that the ink does not um, get onto my actual press. I have, excuse that dog in the background, y'all. He's bad. He don't, he don't make no sense. I have my polyester towel that's going to help get the lint and stuff off of my coffee mugs. Look, y'all, if y'all want to learn how to make some coffee mugs, if y'all know somebody that want to learn how to do the coffee mugs, then hit, tag them. Tag them, y'all. It's a free post, free tutorial. Um, it'll give y'all a taste of what we're going to be doing in some of the classes and stuff like that. I'll show y'all what the design is. It's kind of uh, different. This is a business to business order. So this is what's going on. Of course, y'all know you mirror the image. The paper that I'm using is a sub. This is a sub paper. I bought the um, eight and a half by 14 inch because I have the Epson 2760 that I'm using to print these with. Like I said, we're going to do all of these coffee mugs. Whoever stay on the live, stay on the live. Whoever don't, don't. I'm going to show you. I'm going to tell y'all about where I got this $20 hat wig from. And yes, they do have different colors. Y'all tap in and tag a friend. Tap in and tag a friend. Okay. So, I'm going to pass the phone off to my daughter slash assistant. She needs to learn how to do this stuff too. I see we have three people on the live. Where's my people going? I guess everybody know how to do a mug, but yet I got 50,000 people asking me about classes. I'm trying to give y'all some free content. I know it's late, but y'all need this. Share it. Like it. Tag a friend. <laughs> I came with her. Okay. So, like I said, my background is a mess. But this is the coffee mug. Hold it to where they can see me. This is my 11 ounce coffee mug. This is my polyester towel. You want to make sure that there is nothing on this coffee mug because if there is, it will show after you press it and you can't get it off. Okay, so you need 
Heat transfer tape. Court, make sure you point that camera over here, girl. I am. Dang. Oh, my God. That's why you, you can't be on the payroll because you be doing too much. All right, so y'all see, you don't need that much tape. This tape is expensive. And you don't need that much of it. Y'all see my image. I'm going to tape the top. I'm going to tape the bottom. The reason why I cut my image out is because it helps me center my cup. It helps me center my coffee mug, y'all. I'm going to show y'all another tip on why I like doing these in the kitchen. I know y'all probably like, that girl got equipment all in her kitchen. Yes, yes. The kids already know mama a hustler. So don't be judging us because we work anywhere in this house, okay? Right. Garage, kitchen, front yard. It's all a, it's a craft, a crafting home. A home of crafting. Okay, so I ain't got to talk that. Of course, stop dropping stuff on the ground and you distracted me by eating that and they can hear you doing all that paper crunching in the background. Of course. Okay. People don't like that when they do I'm the hungry. I'm a hungry your butt. Don't have me cussing in front of my followers. Oh. <gasps> Okay, so this is the reason why I like doing my mugs in the kitchen because I use my microwave, y'all. And this is a dope microwave. It air fries, it um, bakes, it roasts, it microwaves, and it confections. So I use my microwave to line my cup up. And get it even in the center. All right, so... We're going to take our regular copy paper. I took eight strips. We're doing 15 cups. I took eight strips of copy, uh, eight sheets of copy paper, cut them into 16 strips. So I'm going to use this paper to cover my coffee mug so that the ink doesn't transfer onto my mug and so that whatever is on my mug does not transfer onto my coffee mug. So I like to have it like this. <clears throat> Come over here. Point it down. Don't show everybody our dishes in the sink. <laughs> okay, so got the coffee mug in there. We got the coffee, uh, the mug press on 200, but as you all know, it fluctuates. And you're going to press it for 2 minutes and 45 seconds, y'all. You want your pressure to be tight, otherwise, you'll break the mug. I mean, uh, uh, you want it tight, but you don't want it too tight because you can break the mug. But. While that's pressing, I'm going to tell y'all, let me tell y'all the outlook. Y'all know, y'all, everybody know I'm bald-headed under here. Y'all know that. I'm bald and I'm proud by choice. My middle is long. But look, this is a hat, y'all. I know, like us crafters, I done heard stories like, and my kids know, I be too busy to even cook sometimes. Like, I ain't cooked in years, y'all, besides during the snowstorm. It's a mess. Because I've been crafting and doing school and working. And my mama been our little personal chef. So, basically, I done got into wigs because I ain't got time to sit down and get my hair braided no more either, y'all. So, I got this at um, USA Beauty Supply. If you're in the city, it's in Fort Worth. Yes. I'm going to have my worker chop it up. But they do have number four available. Um, I took a leap on the wild side and decided to get this blonde. But they call this the Trina cap. And in the back, it's like a swing bob. It's shorter in the back. And it gets longer. That's what I like about it. Anyways. what? Who's all on this live? I see five people. What are y'all doing? What are y'all doing? What y'all got going? What do y'all have going? Do y'all have any questions about the video that's going on? Yep, I I want to I want to try to get some different ones. Where'd you get yours from? Uh, my friend, her sister has one that's a braid hat, and she it was real cute. But I'm like, ain't nobody got time for that mess. Be doing her and all this other stuff. Uh uh. Especially like I still do uh order delivery, so if I'm in a rush, baby, this is gonna be my go to from here on out. Um, I got the press from a wholesale store out here in my area. Honestly, I can't even tell you how much I paid for this thing. It came with a one year warranty. 
But it's uh, La Viva Sports Heat Press. And I love it, y'all. It's, it, it is dope. Like, it gets the job done. You can adjust the temperature even while it's closed. Uh, disregard is dusty and stuff, y'all. I be keeping this in my kitchen because, uh, I don't know, coffee mugs, mugs, cups, kitchen. It, it just all goes together to me. <laughs> Plus, I need other places. Like, I don't know. I don't know, y'all. I don't know why I don't craft in the garage. I don't know what I be having going on. Y'all pray for you, girl. Okay, so we almost done. Does anybody else have any questions about what's going on? What is going on? What the plan is? Who all bought the cricket heat press? Who bought that? And who has one from Amazon? My phone is slow, so I'm probably not going to see anybody's comments until after the video, but it is what it is. We are pressing a coffee mug. We are pressing a coffee mug. This gives y'all a better view. This is an 11 ounce coffee mug. And y'all, I'm a daredevil. So as soon as this thing come off this press, baby, I'll be ripping that paper off ready. Hopefully none of this hurt them got onto my coffee mug. I'm going to be real mad. You using the iron for coffee mugs, Pamela? I heard those cricket mugs are good. Y'all, my daughter done dipped out on me. It's a school night and it's late, so I don't blame her. Like I said, disregard the mess in my background. Y'all, but I'm going to take this over here to the stove area. Disregard the mess. I did make me a sandwich before this video. But as you see... It came out beautiful. Yes, it did. That girl don't play. That girl don't play. Okay. Okay. So, sometimes, y'all, I'm cheap and I use the same paper over and over again. And oftentimes, while I'm doing these mugs, even though I've already pre-wiped these down, stuff happens and stuff in the air. And I just like to make sure that all of my stuff is covered. So, like I said, if you missed it the first time... You want your mug press on 200 degrees. You want to set to 200 degrees. Hold on, y'all. Hold up. Hold up. You want to set to 200 degrees. You want to test out the pressure of your of your mug press before you do it. Um, I always use 11 ounce mugs, so I hardly ever uh, change the pressure. But you want it for 245 seconds that's not two minutes and 45 seconds that's 245 seconds okay don't get it confused y'all y'all will be surprised uh pamela honestly doing mugs it's not really like people get intimidated by sublimation but it's it's really let me turn around. People get intimidated about sublimation, but it's really not as hard as people try to make it seem like. When I say this was, I, I learned sublimation in a, a couple of hours versus my cricket machine, baby, baby, it took me about five months to actually get that system down pack, y'all like. So when I say, I be telling people sometimes, skip the cricket machine and get you a sublimation printer. I mean, Cricut is good for a lot of things, especially dark transfers, and if you want to do sublimation on glitter. Um, I still use my Cricut a lot. I have a couple of them, uh, one at the shop, one at the house um, that I use for personal stuff. But, like, you you really, sublimation is so much easier. Baby, you can find a picture off of Google, and all you have to do is have it sized up right and press it right onto a coffee mug. Where with Cricut, you got to find it, you got to cut out the different layers, you got to do this, you got to do that. This is so much easier. So much easier. Like, y'all, this is permanent. Could you imagine doing this with a Cricut machine? All these colors and stuff. I'm trying to get it to where y'all can see it. But could y'all imagine doing all these colors and all this? Look at how little this print is. Like, boys, no. I couldn't. No. 
no, 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 no. This, this, don't be looking at my uh background, y'all. But yeah, no, I did 50 coffee mugs in probably like three hours by myself doing sublimation. Like it's so much easier. It's gonna expand your business. I have gotten more business doing sublimation. Um, not even just with the blanks. I mean, just actually printing stuff and having quality things. The uh, being able to make certain quality things. Y'all want to know something else? Let me tell y'all. I haven't used this yet, but I bought this stuff. Like I said, I got a mess everywhere. It's late. I normally don't get on live this late, but um, I had these coffee mugs that's due tomorrow. Sometimes we let the easiest things um take up the most time or we wait to the last minute to do them and it becomes kind of not a hassle but just uh heavy on the to-do list okay so let me show y'all this stuff and hopefully i'll give y'all the right directions on this okay so <clears throat> i've been hearing more and more about people creating their own sublimation blanks okay and so this is what I was told that they are using to do this. So if you get something from the dollar store and you want to press it, um, they have this spray and you're supposed to be, it's supposed to make it, you know, sublimation, a sublimated item, sublimatable item. Okay. So y'all ready? This is, this is what I told was for hard items. Like if I had a coffee mug from the dollar store, I was told to use this and I am going to try to find this in a wholesale so I can start having it at the store and then I was told that if you want to you know how people have been oh shoot shoot you know how people have been doing um that special mixture on their shirts this is what they're using I'm sure you could probably find this on Amazon but this just kind of like a little gem you know, as an appreciation for those who've been watching my videos and that tap in with me. Okay, y'all. Hold on, hold on, hold up, hold up, little baby. Hold on, hold on. All right. So, boom. Coffee mug number two. Coffee mug number two. This is what it looked like. I told y'all I'm a daredevil. Don't do this at home, okay? I do not advise for anybody else to be doing this because this is dangerous. But here's another perfect coffee mug. And the whole time I'm talking to y'all. Like, that's just how easy this is. Like I said, you just want to make sure that there is absolutely nothing on the cup when you um, when you press it. Because whatever is on there is going to be on there after you press it. And you always, 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 always make sure that... Um, always make sure that you wipe it always make sure you kind of look over it um what's on the inside of the cup don't matter but what's on the outside will show little hair will show my bad y'all i know i'm turning the camera all topsy-turvy don't be going back and talking smack about my video talking about i don't do good tutorials okay don't do your girl one like that <sighs> all right so for those of you that are just getting on the video, we are pressing coffee mugs. I got 15 of them to press, y'all. I'm trying to hold this phone and work this press at the same time. If I get burnt, I ain't going to be mad, but I'm going to be in my feelings about that. Like I said, be careful. Be careful with the pressure, y'all, on this uh, mug press because it will bust your uh, the handle off of your mug. So while we are also talking, I want to keep y'all entertained. So I'm going to just show y'all some things that I've done. This is a tumbler that I've done in this same mug press. Um, that's another tip for those of you that watch my videos. You can do tumblers in a mug press. All I did was press one side for 50 seconds, moved it up, pressed it for 50 seconds again, and then flipped it over and pressed the other side for 50 seconds at 400 degrees. Um, but this is very doable in a mug press. And those that's me and my babies, y'all. Y'all know I'm a single mama. They got their daddy, but I'm still a single mama. So does anybody have any questions? Uh, Pamela, for as far as sublimation printers, I would say do a 2720. 
2760. They got the ET5. I don't, okay, I get this confused. ET5000, I think, um, that they have that does a wider format printer. Um, I think they discontinued the Epson 7720 or maybe the 10. One of them I discontinued. But those are, if you can find one on Marketplace or something, those are good printers. Anything Epson um, is good. Eco tanks are easier to convert. Eco tank is just a pour. If you do an Epson 7710 or 20, you're going to have to um, put the cartridge in and everything else. Um, oh, oh Lord, I said ET5500, the 1500. Um, but yeah, it's, it's Eco Tank is where it's at. And then Epson actually has a printer for sublimation. And it's $2,500. That's the one I'm going to try to get next, y'all. That's why I need y'all to show up so I can get this big printer. Be doing these big printouts. <laughs> okay any more questions anybody else like i said i'm using a la viva sports brand heat press i have my temperature set to 200 degrees i am pressing each coffee mug for 245 seconds you might hear some people say 250 seconds but the thing is it all depends on your printer um and what you're using um to press it with yes and pamela another thing you're gonna need um sublimation ink i know a lot of people use cosmos but me personally i use printer uh printer jacks i have had some we subbing ink but printer jack is what works best for me uh ace up paper is good um and then i have tried some craft and besties paper as well so you'll need like some kind of sublimation paper um you'll need sublimation ink and you'll need um, a, a heat press that goes over 400 degrees and then you'll need your um sublimation printer thank you la gm yep and then I have the 7720, but y'all, I, I didn't convert that to do sublimation because I use mine for dark, dark prints. So that's why I have the 2720 and the 2760 that I use for sublimation. Okay, we almost done with this third mug. Come on now, y'all actually helping this job go by quick. But Jim, you're going to have to be one of my, one of my assistants. Where are you, where are you located again? <laughs> okay so i'm gonna actually put this up here y'all on top of this box while i open this okay and y'all see i just slide it out like that there we go i don't like to put it on my countertop but i will put it on my metal stove y'all be careful with this stuff around plastic because it is hot and it will melt your plastic, but we just going to see. Oh, 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 oh. Like I said, y'all, wait till this stuff. I'm just impatient. Y'all, please wait till. Oh, shit. Please wait till your stuff dry. I mean, cool down. Lord Jesus. And there you go. Another perfect coffee mug. Um, And then, y'all, as I'm doing this, I'm, I normally just, like, once it cools down a little bit. I know some people, they be wanting to see the full process, but after it cools down, after the cup cools down, I get it all together and I put it back in the box for my Cusco. I try to follow the direction on which I got it in. Disregard my tomatoes and lettuce in the background because I was cooking before I started. Not cooking, but I made me a sandwich before I started this video. Yeah, I'm about to start, uh, I've already started my diet, but I'm about to start um, working out. Is anybody interested in a Biggest Loser Challenge or anything like that? Okay, so y'all, here we go again. Coffee mug, boom, center. Uh, the, make sure your image is mirrored. You're going to wipe it off. You're going to get you a polyester towel. They got these at the Dollar Tree. Get you a polyester um, hand towel. Or like an old polyester onesie or some, an old polyester shirt that you messed up. Get you some regular printer paper. Cut it in half. I'm cheap. Cut it in half. And if y'all wasn't on this live, and if this was like, wasn't such a big order for another company, 
best believe I will be using the same paper. I use the same paper over and over again sometimes, y'all. Okay, I'm going to put this right here. So, we have 200 degrees. Of course, if you deal with heat presses, you know that um, the temperature alternates sometimes between, you know, numbers or whatever. Um, I have this at 245 seconds. This is where I have my pressure. If anybody, I know some people likes to see those. Um, uh, legit. Okay. Let me tell y'all. So I had this um, tripod. I spent $100 on it, y'all. For some reason, I cannot get this, the uh, ring light to sit up on the tripod. And so, I've taken it back a couple of times, and they keep giving me the wrong thing. I'm like, it's nothing for me to screw the ring light in, and it's a $100 ring light. So, I just haven't had time to go to Arlington and take it back again. And um, so, i just been suffering, but I'm going to try to go tomorrow and get that taken care of. Because I do want to start doing live videos. I tell people a lot of times, like, follow my business page because I do live videos. But I have not been doing any live videos because, like I said, I be tired and, like, sometimes it be 3 or 4 in the morning and I'm up working. Like, now it's, it's almost 11 and I'm up pressing coffee mugs. And I still have, like, other orders to do. I'm getting stuff ready for the website. Yeah, they are tripping because I'm like, it's done been five or six times I done brought this. Like, even my friends, y'all, they like, Britt, what is going on? Why you keep taking that light back up there? And I'm like, I'm... I'm just trying to get it right. I don't know. I don't know. Anyways, so does anybody have any questions? I have five people on this live. Okay, legit, you is close. Real close things. Oh, shoot. Does anybody bling mugs on here? Have anybody done that? Because, um, that's a class that I need to take. Well, my friend, she does them. But she got all, like, a lot of kids. And I ain't trying to be over there with the bad kids. So, anybody else that does bling classes, let me know. Because I want to know what kind of bling to buy. I really want to know it so I can be a supplier for it. Cynthia Perez. Okay, uh, so what kind of, um, can you drop a picture in the message, uh, in the... Can you drop a picture in the um, comments of like some work that you've done to show us? And then if you don't mind, can you hook your girl up with a supplier or somebody that I can get the gems from for a wholesale rate so I can start having them in store for everybody else? That would be perfect. I kind of want to have like a full craft shop. I don't want it to just be about like sublimation or just be about vinyl like i want to be able to like be a one-stop shop eventually i want y'all to come in like i'm gonna try to do like maybe maybe even this weekend i don't know i might take a couple of weeks to promote it but i want to do like you know where i have my mug press up there at the shop and y'all come in and y'all have wine with me and we all you know everybody gets to press the mug like for those that don't have a mug press and want to try it out i want to be kind of like a source for my other crafters so what kind of uh, what kind of jewels do you need to bling that stuff? Is there a certain material, especially, um, and then is there a difference between the material for clothing and the material for cups? Because I heard some about if you get cheap rhinestones, then it starts fading or something like that, and you gotta have a certain kind. All right, y'all. That's our number. Hey y'all. Oh, it's so hot. Y'all don't even understand. The block is hot. Oh, and I need to go to the nail shop, y'all. I don't be having time to do nothing. Lord, help me, Jesus. Be having all the money, but no time. Don't judge me, y'all. 
But here is another coffee mug. Here it is. And y'all look, I kind of got like a little speck on there. Sometimes you can wipe this off. But if y'all see, this is what I'm talking about. That's why you don't want to have anything on there. And normally, like, if it's just one die, it's cool. But now I'm going to have to press a whole nother cup for these people. Because I don't like, okay, some of it's coming off. Okay, it's coming off. But I just don't like giving people, like, less than perfect work. I mean, I try to consider myself quality control. So, if there's one little spot, then I don't trip. But all I'm doing is taking my little polyester towel and wiping it off, okay? Sometimes, um, also, I know some of y'all have noticed, when you're doing tumblers, you'll see, like, a white residue on them. You'll see, like, a white residue on the tumbler or whatever. And that's simply because um, some of the paper, some of the sub paper, uh, is stuck to the cup. Okay, y'all. So, y'all see, I'm a messy worker. I just throw the stuff to the side be done with it. Once again, I have my mug press. I'm not using a confection oven for those newcomers on the post. I have my mug press set to 200. It's a 200 on here, but it's actually set at 400 degrees. Y'all y'all see, it's like 400 degrees Celsius, but in Fahrenheit, that equals uh, this 200 degrees Celsius. But in Fahrenheit, that equals about 400 degrees. So, I, I mean, for those that got off the post earlier, I hope they don't go press no mug at 200 degrees. Um, timing is 2 minutes and 45 I mean, two, 245 seconds. Not 2 minutes and 45 seconds, 245 seconds, y'all. So, that's 200 degrees Celsius, 400 degrees Fahrenheit. Each coffee mug at 245 seconds, not two minutes and 45 seconds. Don't go back and tell people that I got it wrong. And then if y'all go home or if y'all go make a coffee mug or if this video helps y'all out, do me a favor and write a review on my page and just let people know that you watched one of my tutorials and it was awesome. Okay. Okay, well, Hannah, please inbox me that information. Because I kind of want to, like I said, be able to um, have some for the crafters in my area. I appreciate everybody that's staying on this video with me. I know I'm not really talking about much, but, um, you know, y'all keeping me company. I still got a few mugs to press. I'm going to press this one, and then I'm going to let y'all go so I can go ahead and muscle through this job and get it done before it gets too late because I go back to work tomorrow. Work meaning just actually answering phone calls and messages for me because this is what I do full time I don't work a regular job I haven't worked a regular job in years like I've been on my entrepreneur business owner self-employed kick for a couple of years now I've been doing a t-shirt business for two years um and I don't know I like it I, a lot of y'all have uh, probably heard my story while we just sitting on here talking, y'all. A lot of y'all have probably heard my story. Um, I started this business because I was getting ready to go to Australia with the Honor Society at my college. The reason why it was so significant is because when I was in the ninth grade, I had my daughter and I ended up dropping out of school. So when I dropped out of school, I got my GED, but I never went and got a college degree or went to, and got my um, associates or anything. So um, I actually got my, um, got my, I ended up getting my um, GED and then I turned around and I got, um, I started, uh, as I got older, I got my CNA license. And after my CNA license, um, I did that for a while. And then I started being a flight attendant. So I was a flight attendant for a couple of years. I worked for a private jet company called um, RVR Aviation. And then I moved on to uh, Mesa Airlines, which operates the American Eagle flight. So I did that for a while. Um, started missing my babies. Uh, that stuff was rough. I was gone four days out the week. I hated it. 
So, anyways, I came back, started using my CNA license again, and then I realized, like, I'm not going to ever make really no money if I keep on, you know, no high school diploma and no college degree, no no experience for years in a said company. So, I decided to um, go ahead and go to Tarrant County College. So, at Tarrant County College, um, I worked two jobs when I first started doing it until I got on housing. Once I got on housing, I um, kind of let the job go and did school mainly. Um, so, while I was doing school, um, like I said, it was, you know, me and my kids, I'm working, I mean, I'm working on my schoolwork. I started doing that full time because time started getting away from me. Hold on, y'all. Okay. So, hold on, y'all already know what it looked like. But anyway, so, while I started doing school, while I started doing school, I, I mean, I was just coasting along, just doing me, you know? I really wasn't thinking about, like, getting into no honor society or nothing like that. I mean, really didn't know much about it. I knew that I was doing good in my classes and stuff. Um, a lot of my teachers, they would say, oh, my gosh, it's like, you know what I'm about to say before I say it. So, but I ended up getting recognized as a um, honor student. And so, even while I was doing school, the housing authority, they had, um, a lot of y'all probably don't know it, but I'm actually a commissioner on the Fort Worth Housing Solutions Board. So, while I was in school and stuff, um, this guy, he told me about the housing board and everything. And so, um, and so I ended up joining, I ended up joining the housing board. And, um, you know, I'm just living my life, coasting along or whatever. And then, all of a sudden, out the blue. So, I had been inducted into the uh, honor society already. I knew I was in it and everything. Paid my dues, all of that, blah, 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 on the housing board. But, like I said, all of a sudden, I get this email saying that um, they granted me a, um, they granted me a, um, dang, oh, my God. They granted me a, um, not a loan, not a grant, uh, actually, they... Basically a scholarship. Okay, that's that's what it is. They gave me a scholarship, and they said that um, I was pre-approved for a scholarship to travel abroad with the Honor Society, um, which is Phi Theta Kappa um, at Tarrant County College South Campus. campus. And so um, I had talked to my dad. My dad was like he wasn't really interested in helping me out. Okay, cool, 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 cool. Didn't know what I was doing. But income tax time had hit. So I started a fundraiser, and then I took my income tax money. I took two hundred dollars, um, two fifty or whatever, really three hundred because I had to buy the material. I was shopping at Michaels like a lot of people do um, when they first get started with shirts. So I spent like three hundred dollars on material, and I mean I was you know doing shirts. It was graduation season, so I was doing little shirts here and there, and I ended up um, getting into a group. I had uh, traveled with the Honor Society to Florida, and Phi Theta Kappa had like this um, convention going on because I made, I actually, y'all, I didn't tell y'all that part. I made officer in the Honor Society, and I really just did it just doing something. I knew I couldn't keep up with all of that stuff, but I was just signing up for stuff, y'all. I was signing up for everything because I wanted my resume to be to the point to where I could make some money, money. Like, I'm... Tired of being broke. As I always say, I'm tired of being broke. Tired of being broke. So anyways, <laughs> I had made officers, traveled abroad to Florida with the Honor Society, ended up meeting this girl who turned me on to uh, Black Girls Cricket. So while I was in Black Girls Cricket, I started uh, reading about 651. So I started this challenge um, because your girl was broke, okay? All my money was going into the fundraising and stuff. So I started this challenge. And the challenge um, that I started was uh, turn twenty dollars into two hundred. So I went and got twenty cups from the uh, from the Dollar Tree. Y'all know the little plastic cups. And I learned how to layer. I started layering um, girls onto the cups. And actually, the artist of the lady, um, I always like to give pay my dues. The lady that was creating these images, her name is Queen Amara or 
designs by Amara. A lot of y'all probably heard of her, but she this is actually the creator of this of my little girl. I just she she was giving away free files, y'all. And she still gives away free files. She has a Facebook group. Um, and so I ended up taking those free files. Like I said, I was only gonna spend really just about twenty dollars. I spent a little over because I had to buy the six fifty one, but the challenge was twenty for twenty. I mean twenty for two hundred. So, anyways, I started learning how to layer the cups and stuff, and I did a couple of cups for my mom and other family members and stuff like that, but it actually started taking off the more I posted them on Facebook, and so, um, I mean, that's really where it all started, you know? I just started challenging myself to do things and to make a certain amount of money. They always say that a person that doesn't plan, um, plans to lose, I guess? But, I mean, honestly, I didn't have a plan. Like, I didn't have a plan for this business. This wasn't something that I always said that I was going to do. Like, really, I always say that this is God's mission because, I mean, it, it just all kind of fell in my lap. I've never done shirts before. I've never been artistic before. It just, it was for me. So, and I always believe that, you know, if you didn't plan on doing it, then that's, that's God's mission. That's something that God got you doing. Because they also say, tell God your plans, and he gonna laugh at you. Because I swear, I never pictured myself at home making coffee mugs and talking on a Facebook Live video at 11, 10 at night when I was sitting there studying business economics. <laughs> studying business economics, and y'all, I was so bad to the point to where my butt, I was so tired sometimes studying. And y'all, I had it hard because I only had a 10th grade education and I'm competing with all these little young kids that just got out of high school. I'm trying to keep up with them, trying to keep my grades together. Um, but I never thought that I would be doing this business. I never, like, never thought that I would have a whole store. This was not the plan. I was planning on getting me a little job. You know, um, I still plan to go back to school because my college degree, it has been helpful with me doing this business. Um, I studied business economics, which is, I might not get this right, y'all. I never passed this question on the test, but I believe it's studying the scarcity of money, um, you know, in a business. Like, so basically how to make um, low funds work how to make low funds make you funds is basically what i learned how to do in school how to uh how to capitalize is something that i learned studying business economics uh i learned about accounting and bookkeeping and stuff like that which is something that i still struggle with people ask me all the time how much money you be making every week i really don't know to be honest with you I mean, I take it, I pay my bills, I do what I need to do with it, and um, whatever I have left over, I stack it up. So, y'all see, it's got the mug, the handle. For all of those, I know I got people getting on and off. For all of those newcomers, we are pressing coffee mugs um, for another small business. Oh, thank you, Alexandria. Like, y'all don't even know. Like, I genuinely be wanting to see, like, my other people, like, do good. I told my mama a while back, I'm like, y'all got me all emotional and stuff. But I told my mama a while back, like, you know, I'm genuinely happy. Like, I've traveled the world. I've been to Australia. I've been to Mexico. I was a teen mom, y'all. I'm not supposed to be doing none of this. Like, all this stuff, statistics say I'm not supposed to do none of this statistics say that my daughter should technically be having my grandbaby at this point you know what i'm saying but we not even on none of that you know it's like we we breaking that barrier at a my mom had my mom had a total of 10 kids two of them passed away but if seven of us living in out of those seven kids only me and my brother uh, me and one of my big brothers we're the only two that actually graduated so i mean um graduated with a college degree so, but I'm going to try to, I'm going to go back and I'm going to ride this thing out, especially while I'm on low income housing. I'm, I'm definitely going to ride it out. I'm going to use this housing to my advantage. And by the time I get off, hopefully I'll be having my doctor's degree and getting ready to be a homeowner. I've been working on my credit, y'all. I've been working on my income flow. Like I'm just trying to level up in life and be on some other, other stuff.
Oh, and Alexandria, yes, baby. I mean, because y'all have to think about it. Like, especially with me being on the other side of the business at this point, um, it's essential for me to show y'all how to do this because y'all are my customers. Y'all my people. You know what I'm saying? And if y'all don't know how to do it, if you get frustrated making a coffee mug, you're not going to want to come in there and buy no coffee mug for me. So I want y'all to know how to do it. I want y'all's printers to run properly. What's for me is for me. What order is for me is for me, y'all. Let me tell y'all, when I moved into my little duplex that I'm in now, I had took I took a month off to get settled in because I had been through a lot. Oh, I had lost my sister-in-law to COVID and everything. So I took a month off. But let me tell y'all, God, he put you in certain positions to where the day after I said I was going back to work, the day after I said I was going to start my business back up, I ended up getting an order for 100 shirts. And um, I was blessed to have people around me. So I gathered um, my niece, my homegirl, my son came. I gathered about five people and we knocked out 100 shirts in about 35 hours on my first day back to work after taking a month off. You know, so God has definitely been good to me. And I want I want, I want y'all to be blessed. I want y'all to have what y'all need. You know what I'm saying? The information that y'all need. Not everything's going to be free because I got kids to feed. But what I, whatever I can give away for free, I needed some company while doing this. So y'all helping me out. So we almost done. And then I'm in this live. I got about three, four, five, six, seven. I got eight cups to do. Um, y'all got me halfway through the process. I'm going to start my meal prep. And I might press the rest of these tomorrow because I'm kind of getting tired. I'm going to get up and take these kids to school like my nerves but i appreciate everybody everybody for sticking on for those of you that missed it you need your coffee mug um press at 200 degrees celsius 400 degrees fahrenheit you need to press it for 245 seconds you need your pressure tight this is where i have mine at i'm using the laviva sports heat press okay and I can't necessarily tell y'all the place where I got it from. But if y'all hit me up, I will help y'all get one. I promise. Y'all know I can't give out all my secrets. Can't let your left hand know what your right hand is doing. So, I know I'm going to box all these up. I know I'm running into each other. But here is the mug. I'm using Asa paper on these. Here are some... I appreciate everybody that tapped in. Y'all share the video. I know it's long, but I just wanted to kick it with y'all a little bit tonight. Like I said, y'all help me keep uh, stay focused and keep company and kind of get to know some of y'all. So be blessed. I will talk to y'all soon. This event is going on April the 23rd through the 25th, 2021. National All Satin Show. I don't know anything about this, y'all. I'm, I'm this is an outsource to me, so <laughs> Google it, look it up, try to attend the event, the event if you can. Be blessed, y'all. Good night.